What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the MCI bus that you guys have all been watching lately. That video has been getting tons of views every day, and I figured I'd give you guys an update on it. So, also make sure to go follow my Instagram. The link is going to be right here above, and it'll also be down in the description. And subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new upload. So, here is the MCI. Yes, I know, it looks very similar to back in 2019 when I got the last video. Except she's in a different spot. So, I never really did a huge full walkthrough of this bus in the last video, but I feel like I want to cover some of the smaller stuff in this one too. So obviously you got your MCI logo. And what I found interesting was these stickers right here. This is from the Manchester Boston Airport uh, access permit. So as you can tell, this was the last year it was used to actually pick up passengers. And going over to this side, there's also one from Logan, the Massport. Now looking at the front, you've got your headlights. You've got where it came from, the Spartan Bugle Corps, and before that, Academy Bus Lines. And going inside, you got the door opener right there. Sorry for the loud noise, trees are getting cut in the background and I'm just trying to make them the best of this video. So, obviously, dashboard, big freaking steering wheel, you got your light panel, step lights, coach lights, driver's lights. Now I'd love to see this thing lit up at night, that would be amazing. I, I, I can't tell you how much I'd love to see that. So I'm trying to plan that for a future video to get this thing started again and maybe do some donuts in it and then come back at night, fire it up, and see all the lights working. So, radio right there. You got obviously the window switches, more lights and AC. Odometer only freaking 733,000 miles. This thing has seen a lot in its life. And you've got your little automatic transmission switch right there. Looking to the back, you know, the 90s, that's all I can say, the 90s back here. TV screens, there was more than this when I was in here a couple weeks ago, but I guess someone must have taken one or two out for some reason. So, I don't know, one right here, rows and rows of seats, you got the overheads for luggage, you got your emergency exit, and you also have the washroom, the bathroom. Pretty small, you know, basic bus bathroom, hot as balls in this place. <laughs> Window that you can't see out of. And you've got almost like a couch seat in the back. Again, the 90s for you. You've got bags, you've got the big glass windows. I can just imagine running through this thing, going through Times Square, and just looking up and seeing all the big buildings, and I think it would be really cool to see that. And you've got, obviously, the seatbelt sign right there. You've got your AC, your heat. Now, this bus has been here since, I believe, 2011, past maybe 2010 or 9, but it was owned by the Spartan Bugle Corps in Nashua who used it for band and traveling. And then from them, before that, it was with Academy Bus Lines who went all over the country. So, pretty basic bus. I can't say there's anything super special about it, but being how old it is, an 86 MCI 96 A3, I think it, it deserves some attention because you don't see these every day. I know I don't, this is the only one I've ever seen. Big pedals right there. Mirror. Another TV right here in front. And let's go back outside and see what else there is. So you've got your side storage. That folds out, but I don't really feel like seeing what's in there because bees and stuff, you know? And chrome everything. You've got your engine compartment right here. 
This thing is a pain in the ass to open. I'm gonna try to get it open for you guys. We had it open on Sunday. Yeah, I don't know why she's not opening up. <sighs> Give me a second here. So here's the view from the back, and uh, AV71 Detroit in there. The engine doors just, they don't want to open today. I don't, I don't know why, but I don't really have enough time to play with those and try to get them open because they're being a pain in the ass. <laughs> so we'll just keep on moving on. Uh, more doors. Again, these doors are kind of old, so a lot of the times I just don't want to open. Which is kind of frustrating, but we'll get through it. So, again, this side looks pretty much exactly like the other side. I don't really see a huge difference. Except this side is covered by trees and the wheels getting sunk in. And back to the front we go. So as you can see, like I was talking about, right there. I don't know if you guys see that well, but Spartan's Bugle Corpse, Drum and Bugle. They owned this before. And then Academy, their logo is not on here, but these are their colors. With the flag and the blue and the white. So again, I just think this is a nice little piece. It's a nice little video to this bus because I'm not sure when we're gonna be able to get it started again. Hopefully soon. Get it moving around and kicking up some dust. But as you can see the door lever, just pull it down and she closes. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little walk around of the old MCI bus. I know I enjoyed it. And uh, like I said earlier, subscribe, follow my Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week in the Will It Start videos. Another thing I'd like to add is just to see how much this was actually used. Look at the uh, wind vi the sun visors. Another thing I'd like to add about the bus is check out those old sun visors behind me. You can see how much they were actually used. They're actually peeling off the windshield. And they're actually taped on before it looks like and they're peeling off again. So this thing definitely shows its age, that's for sure. I mean, with 700,000 miles, I'm not really that surprised, but it could easily be turned into something cool like a motorhome or even put back on the road, I think. It's pretty solid. I don't even think it has that much rust either. Got the door opener. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this MCI video. Uh, you guys all love this, so I decided why not make a second video of it just to show you what it's doing today. And uh, make sure to go subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss a new upload. And also follow Instagram, like I said. And uh, I'll see you guys next week in a Will It Start video. Thanks for watching.